Given the quality and appeal of their existing products, Eversolo, a firm that may be unfamiliar to many people in the audio industry, may soon become a household name. Now, other businesses have a formidable rival to be wary of. The DAC Z8 from Eversolo is a top-of-the-line DAC with a lot of power. It incorporates premium parts, most notably an ESSES 9038 Pro Digital or Analog Converter Chip and an ZMOS XU316 USB interface, which enable it to accommodate high-resolution audio streams and deliver a clear and detailed sound reproduction. Additionally, the DAC Z8 has a variety of functions that make it a flexible and effective gadget. Let's start with build and features. The DAC Z8 looks even nicer in person, which is the first thing I noticed when I took it out of the package. Because of the thick aluminum's finish, I have the impression that I am holding a very high-end item. It is only enhanced by its crisp, clean aesthetics. One such feature is the LCD being covered by tempered glass that spans the entire front panel from top to bottom. Three distinct VU meters, which, in my humble view, make this DAC appear extremely sweet, can be displayed on the LCD in addition to the normal information. Although the DAC Z8 has a 6.35mm headphone output on the front panel as well, the majority of its connections are on the rear of the device. An AC power inlet can be seen on the back panel's right side, indicating that the power supply is inside the appliance. Eversolo says it is a low ripple power supply but doesn't elaborate on the specifics. Here, I'm assuming that we're discussing a high-quality switching mode power supply. Two BNC type USB connections, as well as coaxial and optical interfaces, round out the decent array of digital inputs. Additionally, there is Bluetooth connectivity inside, as seen by a tiny BT antenna. The outputs consist of two single-ended RCA connectors and two balanced XLR connectors. Both of these can be used as variable outputs, allowing you to connect this DAC straight to a power amp and adjust the volume using the internal signal attenuation. The ESS Sabre ES9038 Pro DAC chip serves as the centerpiece of the entire DAC. This DAC can handle anything up to PCM768 kHz or DSD512 native when working with the third generation's MOS XU316 signal processor. In case you were wondering, all three inputs are capable of drawing and decoding full MQA. Last but not least, there is no actual remote control. Instead, you can manage the DAC's capabilities via the Eversolo companion app on your smartphone. I gave it a try, and it seems to work rather well. Now, let's talk about sound. The Eversolo DAC Z8 produces audio in the manner that a quality Sabre implementation should. The edges of the notes are sharp and clearly defined. Regardless of the instruments being played, Z8 will present them with a distinct emphasis and delineate them in detail. Everything is drawn over a dark background with excellent tone separation, which only enhances the overall feeling of clarity. Fortunately, this DAC has a good balance and enough smoothness in its presentation to prevent it from going too far in either direction, too sharp or too bright. A quick and precise bassline never oversteps its bounds to add warmth or thickness to the midrange. The overall sound profile, which boasts good speed and timing and won't ever sound too slow or sluggish no matter the material being thrown at it, goes hand in hand with this. This naturally means that Z8 won't be your ideal DAC if warmth and fullness are what you're after. It's more geared toward people who want a neat presentation that moves through quickly and precisely. Again, the sound staging is in line with what I've come to expect from a respectable Saber DAC in this price range. In contrast to many Saber DACs, which tend to sound more upfront, everything is reasonably separated, and instruments do have room to breathe, even if they are slightly laid back behind the speakers. Although the soundstage's absolute boundaries are relatively modest, I'll talk more about them in the section on comparisons. Let's talk about sound. The headphone output works nicely and doesn't significantly alter the DAC section's audio signature. In essence, everything that was said before still applies, and we're still talking about clean, rapid, and nimble sound without additional warmth or holographic soundstaging. The headphone amplifier's output seems adequate for the majority of headphones, but keep in mind that it is not a powerhouse capable of driving some high-impedance hogs that are power-hungry. Having said that, I'm satisfied with the headphone section's overall clarity and detail recovery. Even with extremely sensitive low-impedance IEMs, I was unable to pick up any noise or hum in the background since it is so dark. Comparisons. For about $500, the SMSLM 500 MKII has been my dependable champion for a very long period. Both of these have comparable functions, but the DAC Z8 has a much more upscale appearance and feel. 
Surprisingly, they also sound very similar when played over headphones. They are both clear and crisp, but to my ears, the DAC-Z8 has a smoother presentation and a darker backdrop. The line output comparison reveals that SMSL is a warmer and fuller sounding DAC. All of the instruments and vocals sound more palpable in space thanks to its robust mid-bass presentation, which also gives the mid-range a wonderful body. Of course, you might say that the DAC Z8 sounds clearer and more accurate, but generally speaking, both of these extract quite comparable levels of details from the recording, they just display them in slightly different ways. Additionally comparable are their dynamics and soundstage. Simply simply, go with SMSL for a bigger, bolder presentation and go with Eversolo for a smaller, more focused one. Another significantly less expensive option with a comparable feature set tops DX5. In terms of their lineouts, I believe that the DAC Z8 has a distinct advantage thanks to a cleaner sound, a darker backdrop, and a wider soundstage. When it comes to the headphone output, DX5 takes the lead thanks to its potent headphone amplification, which raises drive, dynamics, and punchiness to a level that the headphone out on the DAC Z8 can't quite equal. Last but not least, if you don't actually require a headphone output, you should also think about amazing new products like the SMSL SU-9 Pro and Topping E70 Velvet, which can both slightly outperform these two in one units with richer tone. Although there are standalone DACs that can provide higher sound fidelity and headphone amplifiers that sound better, the DAC Z8's greatest asset is how well balanced it is across all of its capabilities. High quality audio, a sturdy construction, and gorgeous looks at an affordable price. The Eversolo DAC Z8 is a capable new product.